We recently had a chance to talk to one of the brother teens, Greg and John. Here's our interview with them. I hope you like them as much as we do. Uh, well, yeah, we're brothers from Chicago. That's kind of our, it's kind of our big shtick. Um, we're both in tech. I'm, I'm a software engineer uh, at an AI company. And I'm a product manager at Google, but I used to be a software engineer. studied engineering in school. And yeah, we grew up in Chicago, born and raised. We shared a room together for 16 years. And shared then, a bunk bed. Yeah. And then went our separate ways for college, but have, of course, kept kept really close kind of within adulthood and saw the race as a really good opportunity, not just to like hang out for a good excuse, but also just to like show the world that, hey, we're pretty well-rounded people that we're able to um, do the puzzles. We're able to do the physical challenges. We just really feel pretty confident in ourselves and one another. And we're able to kind of show that off. Yeah. Johnny and I love to travel together too. So as soon as we found out about the show, we were pretty locked in on, on applying. Nice. This is Evie. When did you guys decide to be a team? Yeah, it's a good question. Also, you, you, you guys are a little celebrity now. We've listened to the past two podcasts, so it's fun to talk to you in person. Yeah, <laughs> get the questions live. Yeah, some live questions. We, so we were at our grandparents' 75th wedding anniversary last September. Uh, we're just hanging out on a beach in North Carolina. And then we were just like teaching ourselves poker and things like that. Kind of just chilling. <laughs> And I don't know, I don't remember exactly what brought it up that we were like, let's apply for one of those shows. We got into the show through my girlfriend. I've been watching by proxy through her for the past five years. And she loves the CBS lore of Big Brother, Survivor, Amazing Race. And so she got me on a few of the seasons, but um, thought, hey, Gregory, we'd be good for this too. Yeah. And honestly, like I had fallen in love with Survivor for a really long time. And I was like, I'm definitely going to apply for Survivor. That is my goal. But then Johnny and his girlfriend showed me The Amazing Grace, and I was like, okay, that seems a little bit more achievable. So, you know, Johnny and I decided that it would be best for for him and I to do it. Just as like a bonding experience. Yeah, it was kind of like on a whim. We didn't think we were going to get it, honestly. Absolutely like, not. Very yeah. low chances. Yeah, I think we just had fun making the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a fun idea to think on, like, oh, we might be on the race. For but sure. never thought we'd actually get on. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we just submitted a three-minute video on our second take. Um, pretty cringy to look back on, but uh, <laughs> it got the job done. And so then earlier this year, we just so happened to be on like a brother trip to Montreal to snowboard, just him and I for like a week. And we get a call from LA saying, hey, we're interested. Please like fill out this application and everything else. So, and then months of interviews, months, months of, interviews. of interviews ensued. Uh, and then, yeah, then we, we landed the gig. This is Emma, and since you, you said you've been watching for a while, what are some of your most memorable challenges from past seasons? Yeah, I am, at least for me, I think I speak for both of us, we've been pretty familiar with the newer ones. And so I really enjoy challenges where it's like something that production puts together for you that's really hard to organize yourself. Like, you can get a bungee jump to go in South Africa or whatever, but like, for instance, I forget it's season 32 or season 33 when they went to Kyrgyzstan and they had a movie set. They went to a movie studio oh, in yeah. Kyrgyzstan and they had to like learn like five stunts. And they had a whole set and props and cast doing all of this action as if you're in a live action movie. Yeah. And that's just an experience that is really hard to put together yourself. And I saw that and was like, Geez, yeah. I wish I could pretend to be in an action movie. Yeah, those are really fun. Yeah, those are really fun. The ones where you're kind of like all immersed in something that you would never actually do in, in real life and kind of be a, a, a fake character. Um, mm-hmm. I always like the ones that, you know, you always look at the show and you're like, okay, I could maybe do that. Like that doesn't look all that hard, but then yeah. you see them do it and you see everyone struggle with it. And there was one challenge where they had to, it was a simple challenge. You just had to finish a bowl of caviar, but everybody oh. was struggling with it. And on, oh. you know, as a viewer sitting on the couch, I was like, that's, that's very easy. You know, you just, mm-hmm. you just sit down and you just shove the caviar in your mouth. But people were like, falling over, convulsing, just like throwing oh. up, just like cold sweats. I was like, oh my goodness, maybe this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Some like challenges that really set the the tone of like, okay, this is a hard race. You know, it might look easy, but but people really struggle. And yeah. when you're on the race, like it's kind of your job to communicate that to viewers to really like in the moment and then also in the post interviews say, hey, this was really challenging and here's why. Yeah. Um, and try to put the viewers in your shoes but it, you can never do it all the way mm-hmm. and when you are running towards the mat and you're just tired like your legs are going to give out they don't care that you're trying to raise a billion dollars like yeah. <laughs> the lactate in your legs is just going to run out so. exactly <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, you did mention a little bit, aside from The Amazing Race, what are some of the other shows that you guys are into? Mm, reality specific or just... Or any, sh- any TV shows. What are some of your favorite things that you're watching right now? Oh, that's a good question. That's a great question. Well, I... right now, Johnny and I are deep into the Big Brother fandom. We were actually just talking about it before. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just such a fun show to follow along. This is my first season watching Big Brother, so I'm all encompassed right now. Like, <laughs> like Wednesday nights, Thursday nights, I'm there. I'm all on the TikToks. Like, I'm all on the pages. <laughs> he sends me the goods. He sends <laughs> me the things that social media is updating us on. Because the feeds, the feeds is a whole other game. A whole like, other game. It would be it would be lovely if we had some feeds for Amazing Race to yeah. look at, like, behind the scenes. But mm-hmm. alas, we don't. And so, yeah, with Big Brother, it's just like... Re- it's a lot of time just like three hours a week just for actually what they put on cbs but on top of that yeah just like the the tiktok community and instagram and, and catching up with people i've watched the past two seasons before this one which were both pretty spectacular and this one i think had some high expectations because of that too but yeah. it's been living up to it in yeah. its own way yeah it's fun too especially this season there's a you know there's a survivor person which was my original reality tv show so seeing Suri on there is, is just always so fun to see like when they do the crossovers when like one person from one show goes into the other that's like uh, it's almost like when sweet life on deck mixed with hannah montana rack and disney channel it's <laughs> yeah. always fun to watch yeah exactly yeah we we like when cbs is able to pull that off except for amazing race we need them to take new people like us <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but other than that you know hbo they're kind of on a pause succession's done euphoria i'm waiting oh that was a good writer one. strike director strike waiting on some things the bear i'm working yeah. to the yeah. bear yeah the ted lasso ted lasso chugging through that that show is one of did the you know there's shows. a new season of the morning show that came out yes last? i did see that yeah 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 i'm a terrible black mirror fan night. have not watched the newest season yet <laughs> yeah yeah very cool. Well, that's nice. It's, it's just nice to get to know some of the teams uh, in a more well-rounded fashion. Um, yeah, it's definitely. Evie. Um, is there one place in the world that you haven't been able to go to yet? Well, Johnny travels a lot. Johnny travels more than I travel a lot. Johnny travels a lot, but he probably has one or two that he hasn't gone to yet. One or two or 10 or 20. Yeah, there are, there are <laughs> plenty. Um, I am really looking forward to going to, to New Zealand at some point. My girlfriend's been and just like pitches it as this this lovely place, which I, that's what I've heard from other people. So would love to go there. Um, would love to go to some parts of the Middle East. Would like mm-hmm. to go to a lot of places in Africa. Mm-hmm. I, I want to hit up Antarctica at some point. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know when, but I have a coworker from when I was an engineer who went and said it was stellar. Yeah, but, but if, if we're going to chalk it down to one, which is, I think, what the question was. I know. I, I think mine would be Australia. You know, I'm really mm-hmm. excited. Like, that's just part of the world that I haven't even come close to touching. So that's yeah, definitely yeah. going to be it for me. So how has it been for you guys uh, adjusting back to civilian life? Uh, you're getting back into daily life, I guess you'd say. How has that been? Yeah, I mean, the race is so crazy because it's so, it's like it, night and day different than regular life. When I got back, you know, like obviously we were talking to some of the other cast members and they're like, oh, it's so hard to, you know, kind of switch back. It almost feels like a fever dream. Like I think back on the race and I just think about how like we're just running through airports, like doing crazy challenges in crazy countries. And then I'm sitting at my desk doing work. I'm like, that couldn't be real. So it, it was almost so it was almost easy to go back into real life because it's just it, it, it just almost didn't even feel real. It felt like it was just like a little blip in time and I'm back back to where I was. But the best part of it for me was just not having the phone <laughs> and having like a phone detox. That was really nice to kind of, you know, kick the addiction a little bit. And when it's not a fever dream, it's a literal dream. I dream mm. about the race so frequently. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you how it just like carries in your subconscious. And I'm making up challenges. I'm redoing challenges. And it's tiring. I wake up like grinding my teeth. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. My, my girlfriend's like, hey, like you got to go see a dentist because you're making so much noise at night. It's it's just uh is yeah it's a wild experience it's been nice to like hear other teams voices though again like we've again been listening to your previous episodes and just seeing more of their uh instagram presence yeah and just kind of seeing their personalities after quite some time on the freezer waiting for this like announcement to come out so um it's been nice connecting with them but the hard thing are just like yeah these little things that get you back into the race that I'm sure other teams have talked to you about. For me, it's this Burger King commercial where they're just like whopper, 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 like DK, <laughs> everyone. And that just will come on all the time when we're racing. And now when I watch it, 
I'm just teleported back to like a hotel. Yeah. And it's crazy about the race because you're just, you're always in the mindset of the race. Like even when you're in your hotel room between legs or whether you're in the airport, you know, like waiting for your flight, you're just always thinking about the race and like what, what you could be doing next, like what information you can find. So kind of going back to regular life, uh, definitely a, definitely a big sigh of relief not having to do that. It's Evie. Will you guys come back after your last episode airs to talk more about the amazing race? We would be honored to come back and talk more about the amazing race. It's one of our favorite topics to talk about. Absolutely. And it's been really tough talking to people about it and just having like a filter in a way. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm talking to Gregory or the rest of the cast, like I just let it loose. But everybody else, yeah, it's just a lot of calculation. Uh So Mm -hmm. I want to let you guys know what it's like to let loose and just talk about the race. So happy to do that. Nice. Yeah, we'd love to hear all the details, especially after the episodes air to hear from all the teams. Uh, just to hear the behind the scenes, what really happened, and just yeah. what everyone's perspective yeah. was when they were doing these things. So this yeah, is that'd Emma. be so fun. This is Emma. How can fans keep up with you? Like, do you have any social media or any projects that you want people to know about? Yeah, I think like I think like some of the other teams, we're mainly just on Instagram. I mean, I have a TikTok and a YouTube, but that's all on the Instagram. And my Instagram is at the real Greg Franklin. And I'm also Instagram Franklify F R A N K. L-I-F-Y, Franklify. I got it before Spotify. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Well, thanks, you guys, for joining us. Again, we don't want to take too much of your time, but we're really fortunate to have all these teams join us for this new podcast, and we're excited for the episodes to air, and hopefully folks can come back and recap their experience uh, with a little bit more detail and spill the beans on some of these things. Yeah. Uh, So we're we're hoping to see you again. Yeah, well, thanks. We love you guys' show. We're, we're, We're... pretty dedicated fans to you all show so i'm excited to see the next episodes nice thanks so much have a great day you too it was nice meeting you bye-bye bye Bye. i really enjoyed meeting greg and john i also really want to go to australia yeah that sounds like fun i was really impressed with their remembering the movie set challenge that was really cool to watch too yeah i can't believe that they've listened to some of our episodes already Yeah, that is pretty exciting, isn't it? Evie, why don't you sign us off? Thanks for joining us.